What's up, nieces and nephews? This is Uncle OG, and welcome to Unscripted Shade. And in our first episode, this man needs no introduction. He has been slandered all throughout the streets because of J-Lo. And he's here to tell his story. Running up and down the block. A crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and What would you say is the biggest impact that New York has had on you? Um, it's made me who I am. And what was your go-to order at the bodega? My go-to order at the bodega was ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, if you know, you know, and a small bag of chips. So everyone knows, I'm walking here. What's something else that real New Yorkers say? F you! <laughs> What's going on the block? Welcome to Unscripted Shade. Thanks for having me, Unc. Truly appreciate it. Is there any other name that you want to go by since, you know, this midlife crisis of a woman basically stole your name? Block is fine. I'm just ready to give y'all some clarity. So basically, JLo has been coming at you most of her life, you know, claiming that, you know, she used to run the blocks, shouting you out in songs. Can you just clear up the air about that? First and foremost, I've worked with several people. Back when I was back in the boot, I was with Lil Wayne. I used to run the streets with Meek Mill in Philly. Hell, I ran behind Megan's ass in Houston. But is J-Lo, Jenny, Jennifer, whatever the fuck her name is, I don't know who the fuck she is. Homegirls is tripping like Ma. If you want to be relatable, this ain't the way to go. Because guess what? I don't fucking know you. But you got to keep it a stack, sweetheart. Because let me tell you, don't be using my name for just anything. Hell, it ain't my fault you're not relatable. Oh, shit. So y'all don't know each other at all. I don't know her just as much. I don't know how many baby mamas I have. So what's up with all the shout outs in her songs? What songs? You know, the ones that she shouts you out in? Those songs. Yeah, I, I don't know what you talking about. You serious? You don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm very serious. Nigga, you can't be for real. I know you know what I'm talking about. Oh, fuck. My bad, bro. You talking about the leftover trash she calls a song. <laughs> That's real interesting, bro. So, that's honestly what you think about her songs, though, right? To even call it a song, you have to have some kind of vocal range. And sis don't got it. That vocal range is so far gone, she cannot find it to save her fucking life. She ain't no diva. So, you basically say that her songs are, like, disrespectful to you, you know, shouting out your name and everything. I would rather be called a crinkly, crackly coon before my name comes out of her motherfucking mouth. So when do you think this all started? Because I've been hearing your name thrown around for a lot of years. You know, it's like she's using your name like a fucking condom. Probably when she was dating Diddy's nasty ass. You see how that turned out. And ever since then, she tried to change her image with dating that white man, try to get away from Diddy's fruity ass. Hell, I got tied up into this shit a long time ago. You're not wrong. She did flip-flop with her men a lot. Ah, uh, I should know. I run the motherfucking streets. This girl thinks she's the shit, but she's not even the fucking fart. Well, damn. If you're this upset, why you haven't told her face-to-face -face yet? If I'm being honest, my spirit has never been so disturbed before in my whole entire life. She does that to me. For some reason, she just rattles my spirit. But honestly, I need your full grown ass opinion why do you think j-lo is in such denial i mean nobody has really seen her run no fucking blocks since 03 i honestly don't even think her therapist knows her brain cells are in a literal civil war right now and i think ben affleck is fighting for his fucking life with that wannabe beyonce that's all facts i ain't gonna lie about that but 
why do you think she's just using your name to become relevant? I mean, do you honestly think it's going to work? Come on. I know you're not dumb. I have been hot since crack and crackheads. J-Lo has been as relevant as the flu. Nobody wants to be around her. And they sick of her. I feel you. I feel you. That's why I'm glad you came on here so you can set the record straight. Thank you. Because if she so claims she's Jenny from Block, why the hell she put out that horrible scary movie? <laughs> scary movie? Man, what you talking about? That was a fucking musical. Nigga, that wasn't scary to you? Hell, I was pissing myself. Uh, I didn't do all that. I mean, whenever I did watch it, I thought I was watching a Tubi movie. I would rather watch a dog lick his balls instead of watch that movie in general. Shit, man. Now I understand why you don't want to be associated with her. I mean, she's mediocre. And mediocre can get you far, apparently. Now, you see, that's why I had to come here. I want everybody to know I don't claim that bitch. Well, who should claim her? I honestly feel like the cracks in the road wouldn't even claim her. I mean... She can get some nearby real estate at the dump and find her other half of her voice. So, in your honest opinion, what do you think would happen if she heard this podcast? <laughs> what the fuck is she going to do? Sue me? She going to have to sue the rest of the fucking internet. Who she need to sue is her team. Making her do that, I don't know how many fucking shows of a damn tour she was about to do. Now, look at her dumb ass. Got to cancel half of them because nobody wants to fucking go. So that's why, honestly, I was fucking pissed. Put my good name in your fucking mouth. I ain't trying to be part of your bullshit. Well, you have any other name suggestions for Miss Jenny? I mean, yeah, I have several names. Jenny not from the block. Jenny on the roof. Jenny's full of shit. I don't know. Just don't use my fucking name. Find a dictionary and find some words and put it together. Just don't add the block to it. Well, is there anything else you would like to discuss on here before we wrap this up? Nah, I think I said my piece, bro. All right, cool. So, you have any parting words for our beautiful viewers out there? Yeah, for sure. Get money, not bitches. Wow. That's some very powerful words. Do I get paid for this? No.